Uh, I'm on my way into town now with my scrap metal. I'm nearly in town. Um, yeah. There's the cemetery. Yeah, and there it goes. When I was a kid, that hill, the, when you go into town here, there's a hill that goes down and around a curve into town. And when I was a kid, my dad had a 1962 Pontiac Parisienne, and that hill was a lot steeper, and there was more of a curve to it, too. They've evened it out quite a bit in the, well, in the 50 years or, or more since then. Anyway. <coughs> anyway, um, my dad, he had always dreamed of being a pilot. He always wanted to fly and he never was able to. He wanted to join the, the Air Force when the Korean War was on, but he was a little too young. He would have needed my grandparents to agree. And of course, my grandparents were of the generation that had come through World War II. So they weren't too keen on sending their son to a war. They knew a lot of guys their age who went to war and never came home, you know. And so they refused to sign for him, but that was always his dream. And he loved the sensation that he was flying. And he used to be able to get that in the old car. This was back in like 1971, 72, 73 in there. What he'd do is when we were coming into Smith Falls, he'd reach down back when the ignition switch was on the dashboard. He'd turn the key back, put the, put the transmission into neutral, and we'd coast down the hill. And it really was a kind of a floating sensation that we'd get, you know. Anyway, he used to call that flying. And it's just a memory I have of my dad anyway. But anyway, I'm going to continue on my journey now. We'll talk to you all later.